suspended from Friday night's game. The coach, Randy Boke, saying that tensions between him and two brothers, one the starting quarterback and the other a wide receiver, may be irreparable. This led to a walkout by Boke on Friday, only to return, meeting all day Friday and throughout the weekend on his position as head coach. In speaking with Boke, he told me that to just allow these two players back without disciplinary action would be destructive to his leading ability as a coach. Tony Odomo, the principal, was called last week by school board member Greg Harding. Harding told me on Friday night's Bayou time that he did urge Odomo to allow the players back on the team. This is where the seemingly impenetrable barrier between Boke and Odomo took place until today. The morning started out early, with Boke and his attorney showing up at the campus for a preschool meeting. Parents gathered across the street near the school with picket signs supporting Coach Boke. All right, we decided to come across the street. A few more of the supporters of Coach Boke have gathered right here on the corner over here, and we're going to get their name, and, and we're going to ask them why they're here, first of all. Hi, my name is Darlene Parker. My son, Joshua Barrett, play, is a senior on the football team, and I'm here to support the coach, to support the, the kids, the players, to say that what is going on with Coach Boke is absolutely wrong, that it is not fair. He did what he needed to do for the good of that team. My name is Alan Parker. I'm Joshua Barrett's father. And I'm here because I'm here to support the whole fraternity when it comes down to coaches. Because I'm a former TPR basketball coach, okay? And my whole take up on the thing is, when that coach makes a decision, it should be final. We're here to support him because he is a good coach. And he has done a lot for HL. He has um, brought, back, brought back spirit. He has brought back the morale of our student body. We had more participation since he has been at this school than we've ever had. And my name is Mary Crochet, and my son is Corey Crochet, a senior here. Uh, it took over an hour to put this together, but my heart, I couldn't do it because it was great, and I had to get someone else to do it for me. Um, it just, it's just not right what's happening here. This is not the United States of America when things that are done as a sports issue for children when they're supposed to be having fun and team. It's a matter of teamwork. On the north side of the school, students gathered on their own and didn't let one call pass by without stating their opinion. When the two suspended players came by, students also barked their displeasure. Two students went into the school, however, peacefully and without an incident. The students and parents then later moved in front of the administration office and started chanting Bokeh's name. The students and teachers were then asked to quiet down by Coach Bokeh, who asked them out of respect to please quiet down. The kids are all behind Bokeh, 100%, so it's real wonderful to see all the kids out here. Superintendent Ed Reshore, Assistant Superintendent Philip Martin, and Central Office Personnel David Bird, David Bird. gathered for an approximately three-hour meeting. At times, some came out for breaks and only gave word that talks were still going on. Mr. Martin, you have any comments? We're working on the situation. Any progress there? We're working on it. Some players stuck no, around to show support for the coach. So y'all just had an emotional hug that lasted for a long time. It's a, it's a tough time for the players right now, isn't it? Yes, sir. Everybody just behind him. He never told him nothing wrong, so if he's standing behind him like this, he got to be right. What about the players? What are y'all talking about behind the scenes? He just... He just won't play with Coach Boke. He's not going to, that's just, it's just it. We ain't nothing to talk about. He won't play for our coach. Coach Boke is not a racist coach at all. He made a decision about his team, and he got rid of two players who were causing a major distraction and defying him, and he got rid of them. That's all he did. As time stretched on until later morning, no one knew for sure how negotiations were going until the whole group appeared from Principal Tony Odomar's office. I want to thank Mr. Richard and the other members, uh, everyone here. Uh, we, we, we sat down, we talked about a lot of things. And uh, I think we've come up with a uh, solution that uh, all parties will benefit. And I don't 
couple of guys over there, and they were on my mind the entire time, and they helped steer me to this to this point. And I, I, my integrity is intact. Our team is intact. The relationship of this school is intact. H.L. Bourgeois is intact. Go Braves.